Have you missed your opportunity to buy land in Texas, big land or small land? Is land too expensive? Is it too late? Have you missed your opportunity? In short, no, but some of those questions might be answered yes. We will get into it right now. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here, real estate broker in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. Grew up in the Houston area and we do business all over the great state of Texas. Many, many, many businesses, families, investment firms are looking at land in Texas under a microscope, meaning really wanting to move here and buy land. Maybe that's two acres with a home on it. Maybe that's 10 acres for a little ranchette, small farm. Or maybe we're talking large farmland operation or hunting or recreational land. Let's talk about the value, right? I've been in the real estate business for a little over 20 years. I've lived in the great state of Texas my entire life, twice that long. And I really started noticing this conversation become a big deal in the early, early 2000s. Kind of 01 to 05 area, and the statistical data backs up that that is when land prices begin to move at a historically atypical rate, meaning not normal looking back. Historically, land values in Texas were relatively flat, you know, slow, consistent momentum, barely upwards. Uh, for years and years and years and ever and ever and ever, uh, you could buy land in Texas for around $1,000 an acre. In a lot of areas, obviously it was less. In some areas it was more, but we're talking about, you know, small to mid-sized plots of land. Could I get 20 acres uh, up to about 100? Uh, there was a period where our family bought about 130 acres for less than $150,000 with a home on it and a barn and water and some horses. <laughs> that property is worth well over a million dollars now. Uh, on the broad scale, we looked at land uh, in the in the 20-year period ending four or five years ago uh, had gone up about 300%, right? So if you bought something in uh, the late 90s, then you had seen the value of that land go up three times or more since then. And that's not a universal rule, but that's the average. That's how the math works out. So let me answer some of those questions we start out. Is it too late? No, it's not too late. Is it too expensive? Well, that's a relative term, right? It's certainly more expensive than it's ever been in most areas, but I certainly believe, and I think all the data and all the market momentum points to the fact that it's going to continue to be more expensive probably for the remainder of my lifetime and just about anybody watching your lifetime. The reason for that is massive population growth, availability of land in our area, central location to the United States, with so much more mobility and where people live and work, uh, rural, uh, semi-rural, and even kind of um, uh, suburban uh, large plot, large lot. And there's a lot of people looking for one, two, three acres, but still as close to town as they can get. So from that all the way out to the outer edges of the cities all throughout Texas and certainly full, tr truly rural, remote land, which there's less and less of available in uh, sort of the central corridor of Texas where most of our large cities are, but there are still not nearly as many, but massive thousand plus acre ranches selling in East Texas, West Texas, uh, a few left in South Texas, and then up into the panhandle, that's where we still have some, some really large plots of land left. But the reality, I mean, we got land everywhere. I know I'm gonna get comments about how wrong that was, but the reality is, uh, land does cost more than it's ever cost, but I think it's going to continue. So if you're thinking about buying land in Texas, by all means, now is the time. You've probably heard the saying, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the next best time is today. Well, that's the same thing with buying land. The next, the best time to buy land would have been 100 years ago, uh, but you better buy today if you're interested because the price is going to keep going up. So if you're putting the plans together now to make a move to Texas and live on or work on or own some land, 
the longer you wait, the more expensive that gets. Here in our real estate brokerage, we say the best time to buy is when you and your family and your finances are ready. It might be you, your business, and your finances. So if those three things are lined up, I would tell you waiting on land prices in Texas to lower is a fool's errand. That is, it's just not likely to happen. We've got industry coming here. We've got jobs coming here. We've got people coming here. There's opportunity uh, relative to the rest of the country, as much or more opportunity than any other place. There's no real economic reason, mathematical reason that land values would shrink. If you're waiting on a recession, the last recession didn't bring any reduction in land values around here. I'm sure you could find an exception to that where in one pocket or one property, we saw land values dip. But across the board, statistically speaking, land values softened a little bit, meaning the increase slowed in some small areas. It kind of flattened for a three to five year period. But generally speaking, values continued to rise and over the long term have uh, have risen massively, 300 percent in the last 20 years. I could tell you uh, 10, 20, 30 percent in the last one year, depending on where you're looking. Um, so it's not too late. It's not too expensive. You have not missed the opportunity. Uh, it is more costly than historically speaking, uh, but I believe the opportunity there for a lifestyle and an investment is still very, very real because we see that trajectory continuing to rise for the long foreseeable future. If you have questions about moving here and buying land for recreational purposes or business purposes, or certainly for family purposes, there's lots of videos around our channel on the topic. And by all means, reach out to us directly. Our content, our, our contact information is below. We are a real estate team uh, and a brokerage with one of our primary specialty areas in helping people buy homes on land. So check out the videos. Let us know if we can help you. I'll talk to you on the next one. Home where the heart is